below sixth grade. This is me, Mr. Rubens, here with another video. This is page 20, number 97, entitled Hatikva. Now, who has any friends who are Israeli? If anyone does have any friends who are Israeli, this is another example of the book promoting multicultural music, meaning from around the whole world. Because Hatikva is the Israeli national anthem, as you see it states. So, another beautiful virtue of this is that we get to be exposed, through learning this piece, to something that's very familiar to, pe to people who are very foreign. So it brings something that's foreign closer to us, and which enables us to grow bigger and more wise, and one of the best parts about music. So Hatikva is... It's in a more, as I say, somber mood, or a kind of a sad kind of a feeling. It's not an upbeat, exciting piece, but it presents a good chance to play in a focused manner with good technique, with good tone quality, and to create a statement. So, a few other things are You'll notice the dynamic is mezzo piano the whole time, so we want to keep fair and accurate to that. The authors of the Yamaha Advantage stated that one of the reasons to practice this is to practice the repeat endings, or the first and second endings. So you want to make note of how those work. I think by this point we're fairly clear on them, but you know, you play the first three measures, then you play the first ending, you take the repeat back to the beginning, play the first three measures again, and then instead of going to the one, you go to the two. The last thing to note is that that retardando at the end of the second measure, so make sure you really you slow it down. Again, these are the kinds of things that are only, that usually happen just with conductors and teachers, but again, retard means to slow down. Alright, this is number 93, Hatikva. Thank you.